nobody wins when the family feels but my false stash. hope fake role models equal to crash dummies it's like it's 10 times harder for stand-up individuals who take care of their responsibilities and their families so at times you might feel like it's a lose-lose unless you can't do nothing else but stand on business and for those i salute them. hi hi we about to get it popping you want to show everybody your car yeah you call Who's that, America? Huh? Oh, Jill, you like it? Huh? You like it? That's your car. You got a big Jeep like Daddy. You already know out of town how we do it. Here, you know how we go. I was just in the mall and all that. Saw a lot of out of town. Just had a conversation with some blood nigga. Ma, I can't say popping. Then I told that nigga was popping cuz. I can say whatever I want to say. Like most of us can. You heard? A free world. Sandra and Liz, when you drive around Brooklyn, you find jewelry stores all over the place with diamonds and chains in the front windows. But instead, a group of criminals decided to target the owner of this laundromat instead due to what he was wearing around his neck. I, I hope I could see him one day. You know, hope I could see him. Cause I know he up there. The Lord wanted another angel or something. You know, but it's sad to talk about him. He was a calm soul. He was a good man. My brother was my brother was excellent. It's everybody, everybody is just traumatized by this. This is no good, no good, no good. Very, like, you know, I came here. The it's hurtful even to walk in there. Like, you know, no good at all. The ones that do you dirty the most is your family. Trust is a real issue these days. You definitely can't trust the unknown. And nowadays, you can't even trust your family. But on a side note, the men that's leading and protecting out here seem to be the ones that suffer the most. Especially when you got crash dummies that's marrying women with kids with other men. Who because they trusted you threw their life away by listening to a clown that you married. Now fam, I say all that because this is what we got here today. A New York man who was in a local laundromat that he owned was gunned down on camera after being robbed for his necklace that's worth around thirty to $60,000. Now let's be real here fam and go over some basic math let's keep it real in the streets you're only getting half his value so let's just say the max 60k it was at least four people to discuss these clowns was arrested threw away their life for twenty thousand dollars a piece they was better off working at mcdonald's but the stupidity don't stop there family which you'll later find out they was caught from a unique style honda that one of the suspects had owned then we get back to the family pop the man that set all this up was the victim cousin sickness who called his friends family as we get back to the murder pop they use their stepkids for help with intentions of taking this mad life you got men in their 40s and men that didn't even turn 20 years old together doing crime because they listening to who a crash dummy so before we go over this one remember i don't give you no angle i just give you the story so with that being said make sure you like comment and subscribe we're gonna jump right to it fam me money perkins a father a business owner he was 37 years old when he was gunned down on december 1st 2023 and the viral footage of his demise had been floating on social media after seeing the gruesome events which i can't show due to youtube guidelines i'm gonna let you guys use your imagination but if you guys want to check the entirety out click the link in the bio this happened in east flatbush it was a laundromat that he owned called manure laundromat when he lost his life a lot of people was grieving some people went to facebook and said the following i want to give a big shout out to a good brother of mine shaking my head we lost a great king and he will truly be missed thanks for always being there for me and having love and respect for a brother from harlem living in bed him and his brother stuck up for me many times i was wasted and didn't let nobody f with me at all i'ma truly miss him for real because great people are truly hard to come by and i'm here for your family you will forever have a brother in me glenn gp gang aka Green Block Mafia, aka Big F and M's. I love and appreciate you, family. Green Avenue finest. So I'm assuming he's from Green Avenue, but just that post alone shows you the character that he had and the reputation. Four months later, on the first week of April, local reports out of New York City would say that the victim alleged cousin was the ringleader who orchestrated the events. According to the police report, the mastermind was by his cousin in a conspiracy to steal his flashy $30,000 gold necklace. So now the value went from, from 60 to 30. What makes they value from 20 to 10. You better off holding a sign up. Five Far Rockaway men 
were indicted for M conspiracy to commit M robbery and charges stemming from the of Money Perkins, as we mentioned, 37 years old, inside his East Flatbush laundromat. Perkins was allegedly ambushed by his cousin, Ronnie Butler, 46 years old, and four other assailants who were armed with handguns wearing big, heavy coats. Perkins and Butler had been feuding ever since 2022. Opening of his business, Money P. Clean. Sad to say, at times, money can really be the root of all evil. Butler reportedly planned the necklace heist with his pal, who was 48 years old, who recruited Mikado's 16-year-old stepson, Zachary Slate, has emphasized that he called his pal, who recruited his 16-year-old stepson, in a crash-out move like this, man. I would love to hear what the mother have to say about this or the biological dad. And the 16-year-old stepson, Zachary Slay, had his alleged gangbanger friends, Zeluk Reddick, 19 years old, and Dante Stinson, 20 years old. The stepson and friends were offered cash for their part in the crime, according to prosecutors. Graphic video obtained by the Post shows moments Perkins was shot deceased inside his Clarendon Road business as we mentioned on December 1st. Now this footage shows Perkins before dragging him to the floor as other robbers stand by. Butler can be seen slamming Perkins head repeatedly on the floor before snatching his chain which he later sold according to prosecutors. His cousin life wasn't worth his chain. No wonder he didn't want you around his money. At least three of the robbers fired striking the victim a total of 13 times in the head, torso, leg, court and the prosecutors as well. Butler was arraigned Tuesday before Brooklyn Supreme Court Justice Danny Chun on an indictment in which all defendants are variously charged with first degree M, second degree M, first degree robbery, and second degree criminal possession of a weapon, endangering the welfare of a child, second degree conspiracy, and fourth degree conspiracy. Look at this man getting bold in the top, 40 something years old, threw his life away, less than 10K, damaged his family, and threw his stepson life away in the process. Reddick and Stinson was arraigned on March 27th. Defendants were ordered held without bail and returned to court on May 9th. Slay, who faced the top charges of second degree M, was arraigned before Brooklyn Supreme Court Justice Craig Walker on March 13th. He was held without bail in order to return to court on May 10th. As we wrap this video up, we want to say rest in peace to Money Perkins and love and condolences to his family. It's a very unfortunate situation. I mean, imagine the family looking for the person who took their loved one out, and it turns out the suspect is a family member. It's damaging. Send 11 prayers to his kids, his family. It's very unfortunate. But as we mentioned, fam, it's getting tough for the ones that stand it on business. But all of it is worth it when you know that's what you meant to do. Because this type of work, throwing your life away, a 16-year-old life, his friends for a necklace, and your kinfolk ain't it. And whatever they got coming, rightfully so, deserve. This was the story of a New York business owner at a laundromat that he owned in New York. And all this was orchestrated by his cousin since he opened another business that allegedly he wasn't a part of financially. Talk to me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one.